The last night started like any other peaceful evening. After a long day at work, I returned home, looking forward to a relaxing night alone. The cozy atmosphere of my house offered a sense of comfort, and I decided to take a shower to unwind. As I stood under the warm water, I heard a faint noise coming from downstairs. At first, I brushed it off, thinking it was probably just the wind or some random sound. But then, I heard footsteps, soft but unmistakably real. Fear began to creep into my mind as I realized I was supposed to be alone, I quickly turned off the shower and listened intently, hoping it was just my imagination playing tricks on me. However, my heart sank when I heard a creaking sound on the staircase. Panic set in, and I reached for my phone to call the police, but I accidentally dropped it, and it clattered loudly on the bathroom floor, my heart raced as I heard someone entering the bathroom. A figure appeared in the doorway, and my blood ran cold, it was a masked man, holding a knife in his hand. I was trapped, naked and defenseless, with a malevolent grin, he said, you shouldn't have been so careless, leaving your door unlocked. Now, you're all mine, terror gripped me, and I tried to reason with him, pleading for my life. But he only laughed, his laughter echoing ominously in the small bathroom. The realization that my life was hanging by a thread paralyzed me with fear. Desperate to escape, I mustered all the strength I had and pushed past him, running downstairs. I didn't dare look back, knowing he was chasing me. My heart pounded in my chest as I searched for my phone, determined to call for help. As I reached the living room, I found my phone and quickly dialed 911. My voice shook as I whispered my address to the operator, fearing he might hear me. With every second that passed, my fear intensified, and I knew I had to find a way to keep him at bay until help arrived, I hid behind a couch, trying to stay quiet and unnoticed. The minutes felt like hours as I listened to the sound of his footsteps getting closer. I could hear him searching the house, looking for me, suddenly, the sound of sirens filled the air, and relief washed over me. The police had arrived, and I could hear them shouting for the intruder to surrender. The man cursed and made a run for it, crashing through a window to escape. The police pursued him, and I heard the scuffle outside. Within moments, they had apprehended him, and the nightmare was over, as the police brought the man away in handcuffs and I found it was my friend Mike who wanted my girl fiend. I was so shocked but grateful to be alive. I learned a valuable lesson that night, never take your safety for granted, even in the comfort of your own home because sinisters could be our closer ones. From that night on, my home was never quite the same. I couldn't forget the face of my evil friend who had invaded my sanctuary, and the once cozy atmosphere felt tainted by fear. I installed a state-of-the-art security system and made sure to always lock my doors and windows. While the trauma of that night would always linger, I also felt a sense of strength in knowing that I had managed to call for help and escape the clutches of a cold-blooded killer. The experience made me more vigilant and cautious, aware that danger could lurk even in the most familiar places, the horror of that night would forever be etched in my memory, but I would carry on, determined to reclaim my sense of security and peace of mind. With the support of friends, family, and the knowledge that I had survived, I would face each day with a newfound appreciation for life. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy watching these true stories from the internet, please like, share, and subscribe.